Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Time to take that walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer, we got another one from uh, Hatachino Nest. This is uh, brewed by Kiuchi Brewery out of Japan. This is their, their hat, <laughs> it's hard, hard for me to say that. Hatachino Nest. This is their Espresso Stout. Uh, this beer was sent to me from my parish out in California. I cannot get these beers uh, here in Virginia. So he's been gracious enough to send me several of them and they have been awesome so far. Uh, probably the best craft beer brewery in Japan uh, that I have tried and tasted. Of course, I haven't done a whole lot of them. Most of the stuff uh, that I've seen from Japan has been their American adjunct lager stuff. and really not interested in reviewing any of that, which I have tried and tasted it. But uh, these guys here at Hatachino know what's going on. They, they, this is the real deal. They do some great stuff over there. So if I was over there or get the chance to go over there, I would definitely seek these guys out. Uh, I would like to try everything that they do. This is an espresso stout and it comes in at seven, says 7% 7 alcohol on the bottle. Says 7.5 percent here on uh, on uh, uh, rate beer, so uh, we've had a conflict of uh, alcohol in the last uh, day or so on uh, what's actually written on the bottle and what they say it is. So I don't know if these breweries are, are changing the ABV on different batches or what's going on, but this one definitely says 7 percent on the bottle. And it says 7.5 here. So I believe the bottle and not them. So uh, don't think there's anything else we need to talk about on the bottle. It, they do date their stuff. Uh, this is, uh, uh, I guess this was bottled on 06 2013 and brewed and bottled by Kyuchi Brewery, Ibaraki, Japan. Very nice, very nice. All right, guys, let's look at the commercial description on this one. It says, caramel, roasted black, and chocolate malts provide an explosion of coffee-like flavors. The strong espresso character comes from the addition of espresso beans to the boil. Notes of vanilla, dark fruit, cocoa, and chocolate. The very unusual character of Hatashino Nest espresso stout stems from the fact that Kiyuchi Brewery is using the recipe of a Russian Imperial Stout as base. Pitch black color, big brown head, aromas of chocolate, roasted bitterness, black currants, and dark fruit. Sounds right. Tasty! Let's go over to the food pairings. The food pairings are the cheeses, are the buttery, brie, gouda, havarti, swiss. And since it is a stout, it goes well with your chocolate. And the meat for this is beef, smoked meat, game, and grilled meat. Glasses of pint, Becker, the Nautic Tumbler, the Sniffer, the oversized wine glass. I got the double glass for this one today, guys. And the beer can be selling for extended periods, being a 7% stout. So, let's get the cap off of this one. Parrish, thanks again for sending this one out. And to the glass we go. Let's go down the center and see what we get. Alright guys, looks like a stout, over into the light, there is absolutely none, it is pitch black guys, 
not getting any light, nothing around the outside edges or nothing. Very dark beer. With that aggressive pour, we got us a nice finger of head, and it is a chocolatey tan colored head. Looks very delicious in the glass. Awesome looking beer. Let's get a nose on it. Oh, wow. Chocolate. Coffee. I am getting the dark fruit. Raisins, plums, dates, figs. Got a sweet, just a slight hint of the alcohol. Not even hardly enough to even mention. The chocolate and the coffee stand out on the nose. But the dark fruit is there too. Now this is 40 degrees, I'm sure the aromas are going to improve as it warms up. Well, let's give it a taste. Cheers, everybody. Thanks to all the subscribers. We about to hit, if I, we haven't hit it by the time you see this, uh, we're right on the doorstep of 10,000 subscribers. I'm humbled. I'm blown away that it's come this far in the four years or so that we've been doing this. So, thanks. I appreciate it. Cheers. Cheers, Paris. I mean, the taste is just like the nose. Bittersweet chocolate. Espresso coffee. And some dark fruit. I mean, it's exactly what puts on the nose. We're definitely getting the, the roasted malt and, and, and the black patent malt, the darker malts. Bittersweet chocolate stands out more than anything to me. Now the coffee might be more pronounced as it warms up. Mm. Oh, that's so tasty. Look at the lacing left on the glass as I'm drinking it. It is awesome. What a wonderful taste. Not too sweet. Just the right amount of bitterness on this one, guys. All right, let's let it warm up. Do the deal like we always do. Might even fire up a cigar to go with this one. It is very, very nice and chocolatey. Wow. Very tasty. Stick around. I'll be right back. We'll do the final chug on this one, guys. All right, guys. I'm back. Got just a little left here. This is, this is an awesome beer. These guys got it going on. They really do. I have not had a bad one from them yet. And this is probably the third or fourth one that Parrish has sent to me. I think I've got one of them here. I'm not sure. I think I was able to, I've seen one here and I picked it up. But that was the only one that they had. And he has sent me several more since then. It is delicious. I mean, rich caramel, coffee, bittersweet chocolate, dark fruit. Wow, tasty. The only way this could be better if it was put in a bourbon barrel, so that's, that's where I'm going to leave it. Final chug. Wow. Delicious, guys. I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. Like I said, if it had been put in bourbon barrels, I would probably give it to 10. That's the only thing I could see would make this beer better is to have a little bit of bourbon uh, influence on it with the vanilla and the coconut and that stuff going on. So, But for what it is, it is awesome. I could just as easily give this beer a 10. It is that tasty. So if you can get this beer where you live, pick it up. Give it a try. <clears throat> and if you had it, give me some comments back on whether you liked it or didn't like it. I did like it. The other half liked it just as well. So Paris, thanks again for sending this to me. I'm going to give it to 9 out of 10. It was very, very tasty. Let's go see what the other guys gave it. We'll go over to Beer Advocate first. And Beer Advocate is pretty conservative on this. They say 88, which is in a very good range. I don't agree with those numbers. I think it's a better beer than what they're, they're giving the numbers for on this one. But they're fairly conservative here. 
So, uh, I would probably step that up by at least 10 points, uh, 98 or 99 as far as I'm concerned. So, let's go over to uh, Rate Beer, and Rate Beer says, ah, that's more like it. 99 overall and 99 in the style. I, I can't argue with those numbers whatsoever. That's about where I would put it. 98 or a 99 in the style for this one there. And 98, 99 or 98 overall for this. Like I said, the only way this would be better if it had been put in bourbon barrels. So it's got the date on the bottom. It comes from Japan too. So very hard to get my hands on this beer here in Virginia. So that being said, guys, if you've had this one, give me some comments back on this one. Whether you liked it, didn't like it, I did like it. So uh, very nice representation of the style, which is a stout. So, uh, let me know what you think of it. Uh, if you've had this one, give me some comments back on this one. Guys, hit the like button, rate, comment, subscribe. Hit that 10,000 mark. We're going to probably do a real tasty beer here real soon for the 10,000 10, subscriber special. So, look, look for that because it's coming up real soon, guys. So, in the meantime, let's go take a walk and see what's in the fridge. See you tomorrow.